Hey guys, Bosch eBike Systems is celebrating their 10 year anniversary and as such, they launched this design contest in 2018 and they selected the winners. Uh, those include Cannondale, Cube and Mustache. And the cool thing about it is these aren't just concept bikes, they're actually going to be available for sale in limited quantities. So uh, the CEO, Klaus, is going to demonstrate some of these. I think it's really interesting. One of the things I noticed is a lot of them use carbon fiber to stay lightweight. A lot of them have a full suspension even like the first one's kind of a gravel grinder type of bike and that's cool I think it makes a lot of sense especially because people ride e-bikes they tend to go a little bit you know further on average and a little bit faster uh, so that makes a lot of sense in terms of comfort and then later on he's gonna showcase a, like a Bosch concept bike this one is not for sale to the public but it demonstrates some of their their really high-end stuff like analog braking system it's so cool that Bosch is always pushing the envelope with this kind of thing uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I mean, there's only so much you can do with a motor. Like, they're all right there at the bottom bracket where you'd expect. They all have a, a Bosch battery system. Interestingly, they don't all use the power tube. Uh, the last one from Mustache actually uses power packs, and then they put a whole bunch more in these, like, you know, pannier bags on the front and rear. It can carry six batteries. And the power packs, I really like. They're a lot lighter weight because they're plastic. And that's uh, something I call out when I do the reviews and stuff. So anyway, enough said, check it out. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Bosch e-bike systems was founded in 2009. One year later, in other words, exactly 10 years ago, we presented our first e-bike system for serious production. Thus, we have reached a significant milestone and milestones are always a good time to look backwards and forward. That's why we initiated a competition at Taichung Bike Week in 2018. We opened the competition to e-bike manufacturers who install Bosch systems. We invited them to submit suggestions for innovative anniversary bikes. An internal jury at Bosch evaluated these proposals and selected the winners in various categories. The result? Canada, Cube and Moustache succeeded in convincing us with their models. These models are now actually being produced. They will be available in limited numbers as anniversary bikes. Canada won the category Future Design with a special model of the Topstone Neo Carbon. In visual terms, this e-gravel bike with its perfectly integrated Bosch drive unit and copper and black paintwork looks particularly slim and elegant. Aiming for speed and comfort on asphalt, dirt roads and gravel, the Topstone has full suspension that is not visible from the outside with 30 mm of travel. It is designed for versatile riders who do not want to be limited to a specific application or surface. A truly awesome bike from Kendall. Cube is the winner in the unique character category. The limited special edition of the Stereo Hybrid 140 is equipped solely with top quality components. It shows what is possible in the e-mountain bikes arena. In addition to the current CX motor and Neon, an electrified wireless gear shifting system and adjustable seat post are included. The suspension, wheels, brakes and tires complement one another to perfection. The components are united by a special performance composite carbon frame. The stereo hybrid features sophisticated geometry and kinematics. The unusual design and attention to detail make the limited special edition from Cube an absolute highlight. French brand Moustache won in the category Bosch Heritage. With its Friday 28.7 design, the company presents an e-bike as a work of art that stands for 10 years of pure cycling life. There is an extraordinary story behind it. 10 years ago, Bosch's first technical contact person for Moustache rode an impressive route. She cycled from the former Bosch production location in Montville, France, to the headquarters of Bosch e-bike systems in Reutlingen, Germany. She also stopped off at the Moustache office along the way. The Friday 28.7 can carry up to six Bosch Powerpacks 500, enabling it to cover exactly this distance without needing to recharge. A great story and a great bike from Moustache. These anniversary models are an impressive evidence of the creativity and diversity found in the e-bike industry. A great deal has happened in the area of e-bike design over the last 10 years. System components have become increasingly stylish and seamlessly integrated in the bicycle design. However, this development is far from over. 
That's why we wanted to mark the 10th anniversary of our drive system by looking to the future as well as the past. This led us to consider what the e-bike of the future might look like in terms of design. So we developed a concept bike, the Bosch e-bike design vision. On the one hand, our aim is to show what is already possible today when it comes to functional design integration, while on the other hand, investigating where the journey might take us in the future. Let's take a closer look at the concept bike. The Bosch e-bike design mission is created as an urban sports cruiser. It has a light, elegant carbon frame with the front and rear suspension fully integrated into the frame. This enables it to offer maximum riding comfort. The Performance Line CX is fully incorporated in the carbon frame structure that surrounds it. Side cooling channels in the frame guarantee the necessary cooling effect for powerful dynamic support while riding. The cockpit is also fully integrated. The new connected Neon onboard computer is nicely integrated in the middle of the carbon handlebar unit. All cables and hydraulic hoses of the brake system run inside the handlebar. The e-bike design mission is equipped with the Bosch e-bike ABS. The ABS control unit is hidden behind the front luggage rack and fits elegantly into the overall picture. This e-bike is a pure concept study and will not go into production or sales. The e-bike design vision offers a glimpse of the future. What will e-bikes look like in 2, 5 or even 10 years? This is an exciting prospect for all of us. As is the question of how our industry is set to develop overall. When I look back over the last few years, I see how something that was once a niche product has become a success story. There is a good reason for this. Because e-bike brings together mobility, sport, health, environmental protection and above all, riding enjoyment in an ideal way. Pretty cool, right? That last bike, um, you know, it's interesting. I look at that front like luggage rack thing and I'm thinking if you adjust that to be level, like the little plastic things that cover the brake levers is gonna also swivel. And so sometimes functionality seems to be missing with these, you know, super futuristic bikes. It reminded me of the Stromer ST5, which is very cool, but then getting the parts and making it all line up and stuff. Um, it's a bit of a trade-off, right? So anyway, I realize that a lot of Bosch products, um, especially these prototype bikes, are like super expensive. They're kind of like supercars. And now that they have a whole range of drive systems, all the way from like Active, Active Line Plus, Performance Line, Performance Line CX, and Speed, and Cargo and Cargo Speed, that's a lot of motors. There's a lot of options, but they still tend to cost more. One of the things I try to do at electricbikereview.com is cover a bunch of different e-bikes, right? And, and I agree with what Klaus said about you know, he, he highlighted fun, but um, community and environmental sustainability and, and health and stuff like that. I also think affordability, like frankly, whether you're just putting a kid on a bike or you're getting one of the like thousand dollar bikes that we start to see, I do try to cover those and mix them in too. I try to pick companies that I feel like have been around for a while, products that seem like they're not just gonna be disposable because that that's kind of a bummer. So. I try to cover all that back at Electric Bike Review and I look at your comments and in the forums and stuff. I'm gonna to continue to do that and just, um, yeah, I really, I love you guys. I think the space is really cool. I think it's cool what Bosch is doing to push it forward and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.